गुड मॉर्निंग मैं हूँ आदित्य और आज के हम वीडियो में हम शुरू करेंगे स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ का बायोलॉजी जिसका फर्स्ट चैप्टर लाइफ प्रोसेस है तो लाइफ प्रोसेस उन प्रोसेस को कहते हैं जो जीवन जीने के लिए आवश्यक है विच आर सर्वाइवल फॉर द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिजम एंड दिस प्रोसेस इंक्लूड ग्रोथ एक्सक्रीशन रिस्पायरेशन सर्कुलेशन इट इज सी सो ऑल दिस प्रोसेस लाइक रिस्पायरेशन डाइजेशन which together keep the living organism alive and perform the job of body maintenance are called life processes all these processes actually functions together and maintain the body maintain the job of body and hence are called life processes these life processes are many for example growth digestion respiration circulation and excretion in all these life processes we are going to study digestion respiration circulation and excretion in this lecture we will go through digestion and in further lectures we will go through rest of the chapters so nutrition nutrition what is nutrition nutrition is actually a process a method through which an organism obtains its food every organism needs food every organism present on this planet earth need foods so there are many methods to obtain these foods so in plants these method are autotrophic in animals these method is heterotrophic so what do these terms autotrophs and heterotrophs means to autotroph unhe kehte hain jo apna food khud banate hain like plants they prepare their own food by using sunlight by using carbon dioxide and water but in case of animals the food is not prepared by themselves they depend on the plants for their food for example we eat wheat we eat rice these all are actually obtained from plant not prepared by the animals so these are known as heterotrophs now this mode of nutrition that is autotroph and heterotroph so in case of heterotroph co2 water is utilized to prepare organic food note here the food prepared is organic food and the input which is carbon dioxide and water these two things are taken as input for the autotrophic nutrition whereas in heterotrophic nutrition it is directly derived from the autotrophs so autotrophic nutrition does not depend on heterotrophic but heterotrophic nutrition depend on autotrophs uh, that is if heterotrophs need food they are dependent on autotrophic organisms so the existence of autotrophic is far more essential for heterotrophic for their survival now the methods which are involved in autotrophic nutrition are to plant uses simple organic materials which are water and co2 plants needs these two materials and convert them into complex carbohydrate molecule matlab plant ek plant hai jo apna food banata hai to usme wo सनलाइट का इस्तेमाल करके वाटर का और कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड का इस्तेमाल करके एक कॉम्प्लेक्स मैक्रोमोलिक्यूल बनाता है जो एक कार्बोहाइड्रेट है तो कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स आर प्रिपेयर्ड बाय द प्लांट्स इन वे ऑफ एट्रोट्रॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन एंड ये जो कार्बोहाइड्रेट प्लांट बनाते हैं दीज कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स आर यूज फॉर वेरियस फंक्शन इन प्लांट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दे यूज इट फॉर देयर बॉडी ग्रोथ दे यूज इट for cell division and some are also stored in plant in form of starch the food is stored in form of starch in the plants note it's very important point the food in plants are stored as a starch the food in plants are stored as starch now autotrophic nutrition is filled by filled by the process by which autotrophs take in co2 and h2 and convert this into carbohydrate in presence of chlorophyll in presence of chlorophyll sunlight in presence of chlorophyll and sunlight this process is called photosynthesis 
मतलब फोटोसिंथेसिस इज अ प्रोसेस इन विच प्लांट टेक्स कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वाटर एंड कन्वर्ट दिस टू कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ क्लोरोफिल एंड सनलाइट इन फोटोसिंथेसिस प्लांट यूज सी ओ टू एंड वाटर टू कन्वर्ट दम इन टू कार्बोहाइड्रेट इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ क्लोरोफिल एंड सनलाइट नाउ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर वेरियस एग्जामिनेशन इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस सो इन दिस प्रोसेस प्लांट यूज सिक्स कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ट्वेल्व मोलिक्यूल ऑफ वाटर एंड फॉर्म्स वन मोलिक्यूल ऑफ ग्लूकोज सिक्स मोलिक्यूल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ट्वेल्व मोलिक्यूल वाटर एंड वन मोलिक्यूल ऑफ ग्लूकोज इज फॉर्म विच इज अ कंपनीड बाय सिक्स ओ टू एंड सिक्स एच टू ओ इन दिस होल प्रोसेस द सनलाइट एंड क्लोरोफिल प्लेस अ इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल वेयर सनलाइट गिव्स एनर्जी so sunlight gives energy this shows that this process photosynthesis is endothermic process the process photosynthesis is endothermic processes and in actuality is a photoendothermic process means the source of energy is photosynthesis that is light the source of energy is light now the raw materials which are required for photosynthesis are sunlight chlorophyll carbon dioxide and water sunlight sunlight is directly observed from you know sun the light which comes from sun is directly observed by the plant the chlorophyll is already present in the plant and the chlorophyll observes the sunlight the sunlight falls on the plant sunlight falls on the plant and it is observed by the chlorophyll now carbon dioxide enters the plant through stomata noted carbon dioxide enters the plants through stomata and water is taken by the roots water goes to of the plants by roots in the later chapters we will discuss how the water goes in the plant how the transport of water processes but for this time just mark it that plant takes water from their roots and is transported upward to the leaf for the process called photosynthesis now where does the photosynthesis occurs the photosynthesis occurs in the leaf in the leaf and more particularly in the chlorophyll more particularly in the chlorophyll chlorophyll in the chlorophyll photosynthesis occurs so let us have some structure of carbohydrate of chloroplast here i will show you how chloroplast is it will import help you in further sessions of this video for example this is a chloroplast so chloroplast is a double membrane sex structure outer membrane and inner membrane so this all area inside the inner membrane is called stroma what is this called stroma inside the stroma there are pile like pile of coins like this the structures are present these are called grana what are called these are called grana so the internal structure is called there are two membranes outer membrane and inner membrane the outer membrane encloses the whole chloroplast inner membrane encloses the inner membrane encloses stroma inside a stroma there is presence of pile of coins coins you know sikka सिक्के की तरह के स्ट्रक्चर्स पाए जाते हैं विच आर नोन एज ग्रेना सो फोटोसिंथेसिस एक्चुअली टेक्स प्लेस इन दिस क्लोरोप्लास्ट एंड इन फोटोसिंथेसिस द मेन इवेंट्स विच टेक प्लेस आर एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ लाइट एनर्जी बाय द क्लोरोफिल कन्वर्जन ऑफ लाइट एनर्जी इन टू केमिकल एनर्जी रिडक्शन ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इन टू कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स सो in the first step the absorption of light energy is by the chlorophyll take place in the outer membrane of grana in the membrane of grana in the membrane of grana the absorption of sunlight take place by the chlorophyll now this chlorophyll uses this energy for its excitation and meanwhile water is also broken into h2 and o2 what is also broken into h2 and o2 
and after it the whole energy which is released from these two processes are utilized in reduction of carbon dioxide into carbohydrate in reduction of carbon dioxide into carbohydrates now stomata what is stomata so stomata are teeny pores present on the surface of leaves stomata are teeny pores present on the surface of leaf this is stomata this is stomata these are the guard cells and this is the stomachal aperture that is the whole of stomata now the function of stomata is to exchange of gases and transpiration very simple function it is but of very vital importance it does there are exchange of gases through stomata o2 and carbon dioxide and losses water in form of water vapor the process is called transpiration so market transpiration is a process through which plant loses its extra water into the atmosphere now let us come to heterotrophic nutrition so heterotrophic nutrition as of these types that is holozoic nutrition saprophytic and parasitic nutrition holozoic nutrition animal takes in solid food and break down inside the body animal takes solid food and break it inside the body note it take up solid food and break it inside the body whereas in saprophytic the food is broken down outside the body that is on the dead matters which are already died the food is broken down outside the body and taken inside the body further after digestion whereas in parasitic they depend on another organisms and sometimes these parasites are also harmful for the host harmful for the host like mosquito aedes mosquito are parasite on our body they harm our body platyhelminths are also parasite on our small intestine so and cucasta is a plant parasite exception we you know plants are generally autotrophs but this is a heterotrophic plant or uh, heterotrophic and more particular parasitic plant which is and absolute parasite means 100% parasite and root parasite it is also a root parasite now how in the holozoic nutrition we are going to start with nutrition in amoeba 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 is unicellular organism when food comes near amoeba what it does so it does spreads its pseudopodia 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 means false feet pseudo means false podia means feet so false feet false feet pseudopodia is false feet now this pseudopodia encloses the food matlab jab food aaya ameba ke paas ameba ne nikala apna pseudopodia wo pseudopodia food ko andar apne samuhit kar liya uske baad us food ko ameba ne kar liya digest okay so pseudopodia when food comes pseudopodia which captures the food taking the food and formation of food vacuoles this is food vacuole this is food vacuole this is food vacuole in which food is digested now food is digested in food vacuole and it diffuses in the cytoplasm that is assimilation it diffuses in the cytoplasm and utilized by the amoeba for different processes now this undigested food moves through the cell membrane through the cell membrane you know cell membrane is semi permeable so this food which is undigested moves through the cell membrane and is ex- ejected by the amoeba now the brilliant tutorials cbse and sub 3rd to 12th amarpura road Norbat Perlock Pack No 801